just like completely non-pro wrestling, silly, stupid people. Shit. That's what it is. That's my life. I work with. <laughs> yeah, almost everyone will be like, okay, this next one, they're in New York. It's actually not true. They're always in Florida, it seems. These yeah, idiots are always in Florida. People in Florida are nuts. That's why they have what a Florida is. man. They're all fing crazy. Yeah. God. You know? I'm surprised there's not more Jersey ones. Everyone's worse, stupid. I should have like filtered a few of them in just for you. You should have done all Jersey ones, I to should've. be quite honest. And I, I would have been like, why are you hacking stories from when I go out <laughs> with my friends? It's really weird that you figured these out. Well, every single weird. one, every single one, I'd probably be like, oh, so, so Gabby, what happened next? And you'd be like, I know the answer. Listen, I, I was had there too much that. tequila that night. Don't hold it against me. <laughs> for doing this in the afternoon. I know I'm yeah. like. It's I'm I'm EST too, so it's it's fine. It's fine. I just I locked my door. I told my wife keep the kids out for like a half an hour. That's Any all excuse I need. to keep the kids out. I mean, it's glorious. I would <laughs> I would sleep in here if I could. I'm not gonna lie. You might have to if she hears that. You know. I heard uh, <laughs> I heard I heard you're a new wrestling fan. Is that yeah, true? I just started watching when I got the job, so like four years in. Basically. Okay, so you know what I got to ask you today. You know what I got to ask. What? What you think of the punk thing? Oh my God. We talked about it all on the show today. I fucking loved it, but yeah, I, that's, did too. I really did. And I'm in the minority with that because a lot of people didn't like it, but I think that's just like the beauty of it. And I think yeah. anything to get people talking and get the attention, like for me, you already won. Yeah. Why did and they say they didn't like it? What was the reason? What? Sorry. The people, the people that said they didn't like it. What was the reason? Like we had people that called in today that were like, I bought my ticket to see that match and I got three minutes and I'm pissed. I feel like, you know, I was sold a, a, a shitty bag of goods because I was mm. advertised one thing and I didn't get what I wanted, but that's the fucking pro wrestling business. Like, I'm sorry. You yeah. know, like yeah. it, it kind of is what it is when I came on like um, the start of the second hour and there was stuff to follow. I was like, this isn't going to be what we think it is. Like the minute you knew that it wasn't the main event, I was like, there's no way they're just going to have an old match. It's just not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. I liked it. Cause it was different. Yeah. If they had to done a 20 minute match and then, you know, Moss goes over, that's fine. But we've seen that a thousand right. times. I like it, it. I was telling Joel, have you guys met Joel, Gabby, Gabby, Joel? Hi, Joel. Hi. It's good to meet good you. To meet you. He's uh he does stuff for Fightful. And uh, so he's nice. helped me out with this. But uh, it reminded me of Brock Goldberg at Survivor Series. They actually I, said that today, too. Oh, yeah. really? Because I'm in the minority that like that, too. Yeah. You know? It's, it was it's, something it's different. Crazy. If you're suckered into it, they're doing what they're supposed to do, like, in my opinion. But yeah. Yeah. what do I know? I don't know anything. <laughs> no, I. you know what? I've, I've checked out some of your clips. because So I've been trying to find people to do this with me that, number one, I know they can roll with the punches. Yeah. And, num and number two, I know that they can provide, like, good commentary. And I know you can do that. And so uh, that's I'm why from I'm Jersey. Kinda... My whole life is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I used to work in the advertising business. And so I used to go to New York like three, four times a year oh, back nice. in the day. And it got to the point where a lot of my clients thought I was American. They didn't know that I was actually Canadian. Oh, you are you know? Canadian? I wouldn't even tell. Yeah. If, it's not that strong. It's not bad. But like if you hear me say outer house, yeah. kind of, I guess. Yeah. But, do I have a Jersey accent? People oh, think yeah. that I do. Really? Yeah, yeah. It, it's yeah. not as pronounced. It's endearing, though. It's part of you, I think. Yeah. If so. I get angry, it's a different story. It really comes out. <laughs> but, like, you don't. It takes a lot to make me angry. Just don't. You know. That's I'm going to I'm gonna take it. You got some brothers? I'm going to take it? Two older it? brothers. I, okay, I knew it. And that's it. I knew it. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. So you had to take some shit growing up. Yes, physically, mentally, <laughs> <laughs> every kind of which way. So I had no hope to, like, not be into sports. But, like. I didn't find pro wrestling until, like I said, I got this job and I wasn't even full time on the pro wrestling show. I just literally worked it one day and I was like, oh my God, this shit is crazy. Like I really? can literally have any opinion about it that I want to yeah. while I watch it. This is the coolest thing of all time. And then kind of just took off from there. And then I'm just so insanely competitive. I had to make sure I was on it full time. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> and Did now you watch it when you were younger? Cause you know, what? like everybody watched, everybody watched WWE, like when you're nope. younger. No, not at no, all. No, I played, my dad was from Sicily, professional soccer player. I played soccer my whole life, basketball. Um, I, it was more of like the traditional sports. Like I knew when I sat for the interview, I was like, I know total divas. Like I've watched total divas sometimes and I know who John Cena is. And she was <laughs> like, um, okay. She was like, well, you seem cool. So I was like, okay, awesome. Like it's basically all it took. I had no, nothing, n no idea. Interesting. And when you started there, was AEW around at the time? No. AEW didn't start until 
what was it 2019 was like they really launched yeah, I think right. I, so my first week there was wrestlemania in new orleans so that was like right before i feel like the tipping point of like the first um all out and everything right yeah, like i don't yeah. know dates really well but like so i was there for like the formation and the wednesday night wars and all that kind of interesting stuff but i wasn't i didn't know like the history of it like I, my old producer who works for the wwe now he basically had to tell me like this is who Kenny Omega is. And like, this is why this is a thing. And like, so now I know, but I don't really yeah, know yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your preference now? Do you, do you prefer AEW or do you prefer WWE? It's hard because I think, and like AEW is an easier watch in my opinion. Like mm. I think you can follow along. Like it's just a little bit more entertaining. I think for my age and everything, like it's just more fun to watch and follow storyline wise. But WWE is now becoming, I think, much better than how it was. WWE goes through like weird phases where I'm very into it. And then sometimes it's like kind of hard, like raw sometimes for three hours. I'm like, oh my God, you mm -hmm. know, but it's getting better now, obviously with things changing and I'm invested in certain people for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but I watch, I mean, I watch everything, you know, I watch Impact. I watch. We oh, you do all that too. Really? Yeah. I work with Tommy Dreamer. It's one of my best friends. In the world. <laughs> okay. Okay. I guess you I'm have not, to, yeah. you know? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. I have been to live like impact shows too. I went to the one that they just had it that they had in Philly and like, and when you become friends with the people, you kind of want to go and just like watch. And I will say, I don't think I was invested until I went to a live show in general. Like it's just such a different, like you, I don't feel like you don't get it until you see it live. Yeah. yeah which yeah, is yeah. weird. I'm like, yeah. Oh yeah, it's fake, whatever. And then you go and you see them actually like slamming and I'm oh, like, yeah. oh, God, these people are nuts, man. I'm like, what are they yeah. doing? Do you right. ever do you ever get a chance to go to independent shows in your area? Um, I haven't been to any. I've been to like Northeast Wrestling when they were in like I know that's like an indie show and like ISPW because yeah. Dave does some stuff for them. So I've been there a couple times like for signings and stuff, and it's like a lot of fun. Um, I've been to like the celeb fest things where they don't really do anything, but it's like so like yeah, I go. It's fucking they're all crazy. Like the things yeah, that they do because they got to prove yeah. themselves. It's just like. And Mission Pro stuff because of Thunder too. I'm really close with. So those are. I commentated a Mission Pro match when David Thunder had their match. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did. Have you been in the ring? So <laughs> that's a funny story. So I actually went in the ring at Bully School once. Me and Dave went and visited him in Connecticut, and it was one of the cool things in my life. And I literally say like, if I didn't have a full time job, I would. 100% go in the ring and like train oh, yeah. to be a wrestler because it was the most addicting thing of all time, but the most like hard on my body. I, I felt things the next day in places like I never knew existed. And it's like, you literally have to mind over like body, like trick yourself into doing things that you're not supposed to be able to do. Mm -hmm. But for me, I'm just so competitive. And like I said, I played sports my whole life. I'm like, I could fucking do it like a hundred percent, but I would want to do it and like do nothing else. Cause I would want to yep. be like the best at it. Focus on it. Yep. But yep. I just don't have that right now because I need to pay rent for my apartment. So, yep, life gets in the way. So, so did you like take bumps, run the ropes, all that stuff? So we, he taught me how to take a bump, like a proper bump, and that took a little bit of time. And then that's all we really got to do. He, he we were only, we weren't even supposed to get in the ring. We went to just watch him like do a class. And then he was like, "Gabby and Dave, get in here." Dave almost fucking killed himself. He's a fifty year old man. But then like I was like really really into it, and Bully was like saw that I could like do it a little bit. So he was really like pushing me, but he was like, get home and take three leave. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Like whatever. And he's like, Gabby, get home and take leave. Thank God I did. Cause then yeah. the way my neck and everything felt like the next day, yep. Yep. insane. And that's why I, we came on the next day and I was like, I will never in my life judge them for doing shit in the ring anymore because the most simple of anything, it takes like an hour just to get down so that you don't hurt yourself. I totally agree. I, 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 in uh, Ontario, Canada, I did some training at the school where like uh, Showtime Eric Young and Angelina Love and they all right. trained. Yeah. And I, I wanted to learn it for the same reason. I wanted to take bumps because I wanted to experience what they go through and I didn't take a leave. And so Gosh. the next day it was like whiplash. It was like you were in a car wreck the next day. It's you know? that's a, that's the exact word he said. He's like, you're going to feel like you had whiplash. Like it's yep. so bad. And I was exhausted. Like, I was dead to the world and I didn't think I did that much while we were doing it. But then it was that next day, like impact of it, but yeah, it's yeah, addicting, yeah. man. Like, yeah. Oh. Well, you know what? I'm going to be looking for you on AEW television because I know Tony Khan's doing stuff with busted open now and well, he's, he's going to find out. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to find out. Oh, really? You've done some training. Oh, really? So 
I mean, we'll see them this week and we're going all out. So oh, be we'll be there. I'll be fine. Yeah. Roses are red. Violets are blue. I click the subscribe button. You really should too. If you like videos about real news stories that are funny, stupid, or weird, subscribe now.